Well, I have no idea what Melody is doing today, but just by looking, it looks like artichoke Florentine. Spinach dip? Cream cheese, okay, dip. Okay. okay. Do you know how when you go out to some of these famous re uh, restaurants and they have this hot artichoke so it's spinach a hot something. dip? Okay. It is. Yeah. It's going to actually be uh, yeah. cooked. Baked. Artichoke dips are great. Now, I, I have to give credit when credit's due. I'm not a recipe mm -hmm. stealer. You're welcome, though. I'm a recipe borrower. But my friend uh, Alvin Mowry made this recipe. Okay. Um, it's kind of a interesting story you know when Rendell and I got married he had friends who have now become my friend and I am known as that woman that, who, wo <coughs> okay, okay. that woman and mm -hmm. totally changed their lives um, Alvin even told me a story at potluck one day how he used to laugh at vegans uh -huh. and he said I just thought they were crazy people and I said why and he said I just thought they were like wouldn't eat dairy, wouldn't eat this. Mm -hmm. He said his wife, Julia, and I, I think you met Julia, Julia before. Yes. She's actually a musician now, a cook, mm. and a great cook at that. Both of them are. He's a good baker, too. And they've realized with their health issues by making the changes what it's done for their lives. Mm -hmm. And so he's always out there coming up with recipes um, oh, okay. and sharing them with me. So I said... Okay. When I taste, he said, you just got to taste this. I mean, all we ever talk about is re uh, recipes. It's like we're, mm -hmm. we're just crazy in the kitchen. So when he told me about it, he made it. And mm -hmm. oh my, was it good. Now that's a Parmesan style cheese. Everything here is plant-based. Mm -hmm. There are so many products out on the market now. The uh, Vile Life, uh, you got Follow Your Heart, you've got Daya. I mean, I could just go on and on. My favorite Parmesan comes from a company, and it, you'll see it more out in California, Oregon area, Washington, because they're based out of Washington. Mm -hmm. It's called Good Planet. Good Planet. Good Never Planet. Heard that one. Great product. Huh. Some of the Violife, uh, is it Violife? Some of them mm -hmm. have no oils. Whoa. Yet. Yeah, oil free. Because I was going to say, this is going to have some oil in it right It's going to have fat. F but fat, right. The, these yeah. will for sure. Because but the nice, nice part is nowadays, yeah. there are so many companies out there that are giving us products so we don't really have to reinvent the wheel. We, I mean, we you know, don't. I've got recipes for different cheeses and things. I've got recipe for um, cheeses, sour cream, and for yeah, cream exactly, cheese. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, like you said, why reinvent the wheel? There's yeah. so many recipes out there that we can make with these products. Mm -hmm. and, and what I think most people like is that, hey, I'm working 40, 50 hours a week. I'm struggling. I've got kids in one school. Mm -hmm. They're going to soccer, baseball practice. They're going to all these places. We don't have time. Right, right. So I'm given the, the options. You can buy this at your local store. Okay. So this is a fast one. This is a fast one. This is a eight ounce cream cheese, which okay. I'm going to have you put in the bowl. He's going to be my stirrer okay. today. <laughs> Yeah. At least it wasn't a it's hatchet or a drill. It's in the bowl. Take a spoon and take, and take it, it out, out of the, the container. container. <laughs> oh, okay, I figured you wanted something. And like then that. this this is um, sour cream, and this is two thirds cup. Mm -hmm. So this is an eight ounce, uh, and this is two thirds cup of a sour cream. So whatever your choice is. Yeah. Um, and usually use those it. containers are maybe 12 ounce, I think. They are, that's why it's a two thirds cup. And I want you to stir that together. Now what I have here is a vegan mozzarella style mozzarella. cheese. Mozzarella. I have a really good mozzarella you cheese. You do, I like your Swiss cheese. Um, and when the you one made that, that you blow the holes in. The one that we yeah. took the straw and did the holes in. I remember that too, because you were <laughs> pulling a fast one on me while I'm sitting here blowing the holes out. You're like, yep. Yeah, with your fingers on the straw and just popping them right out of there. That was so good. <laughs> and this is actually a vegan Parmesan style cheese. And I've got a little mixture in here uh, just to make sure I had that half cup. So this that's one, a, This smoothed really fast too. It so. did. And so now I would like for you to put your your Parmesan. Don't need any for the topping or? Nope, nope. Just, okay. look, we're just gonna do it like that. And we're gonna do our mozzarella right in with it. All of it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All of it, it's all measured. What's, what's the measurement? Measured. What was the measurement on these? Um, you had a uh, eight ounces of the cream cheese. Mm -hmm. You had two thirds cup of the sour cream. Mm -hmm. You had a half cup of the um, Parmesan. Parmesan style, and then you had a cup Full of cup. the um, 
mozzarella. Just a full cup of the mozzarella. Mozzarella. And now I did just the eight ounce pack. I think it's ten ounce package of the frozen spinach. Mm -hmm. Ten ounce. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And I just thawed it out. Uh, you could do the same thing. Microwave hot water. Just set it out. Go ahead and put that in, and I just took the water off. I was of gonna it. say, is it sweet? It's got a little, it's okay. just a it's hair got a little, of moisture in there, and but I not want a lot. little bit of moisture in there. Okay. And then this is the artichoke hearts, and this is actually, oh, I'd say about. I think most of the cans out there that you buy or jars of hearts are probably about 18 ounce. 18 ounce. This was a big jar I bought at Sam, so I just did it in half. So and I chopped them up because I don't want big chunks. I was going to say, that's me. not normal. <laughs> no, we no, got it chopped not. up there. No. A lot of spinach in here. Yes. Okay. It's a spinach. Is this going into Yeah, everything? all of it. And this is just what you would call a Dump ingredient <laughs> driven <laughs> it is. recipe. And we it bakes in the oven until all the cheese is melted. So depending on your oven, I've got it on 350 degrees. And we're going to put it in a baking dish. You can put a casserole dish. Believe me when I tell you this is one of the most awesome dishes you will try. I'm not kidding you. It, it will take you back and you're like, you will, you will fool every dairy person out right there. Here. They're not going to believe it. Yes, that's what we're going to use. Yeah, ingredient driven is nice. Yes. Um, there's ingredient driven. There's concept driven. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of concept cooking here, we like do. recipes without recipes. Yes, and and you might say, well, what if I don't like spinach? Well, if you don't, don't, don't put it, it in. <laughs> Maybe you like asparagus. Uh, what if you don't oh, like asparagus artichoke? Would be good I think it would. What if I don't like artichoke hearts? Uh, don't put them in there. Uh, for that, what would you use? Water chestnuts? Maybe a fire roasted red bell pepper. If you, you could do to, that, um, but I'm thinking a water chestnut to give you some kind of a Asian crunch. Mm -hmm, a crunch there. Look how beautiful that okay. is. All right, now I'm going to put this in the oven. And uh, in the oven, is it going to take a little while? Yes, it is, but I've got a couple more recipes I'd like to work on. Okay, so, so we'll if we pull can that do out. A, and, uh -huh. yeah, if we can do a, cl a quick cleanup here, we can get the yeah. next recipe set up here. Tune in next week for the final product. No. <laughs> we'll be back. Okay. We ready? Ready to go get some exercise after all this eating we've been doing and eating we've been doing. I haven't had my dinner mm. yet. I have. Have you? I've had your dinner. You had my <laughs> dinner. I haven't had my dinner. Hey everybody, um, Melody's got this artichoke dip coming out of the oven, but I wanted to surprise you a little bit because I know that she just loves to do this oil-free thing. I do. And so I thought I'd share with you one thing I did at the camp meeting, which was to do some garlic bread that is oil-free. Ooh, I'm, yeah, a, I'm in for that. This is so one So what that, kind of butter are you, what kind of? You know, oil-free. So you're water sauteing. This is one of the nuttiest things people have ever seen. Let me grab a spoon from you. Um, and people, I've done this at a camp meeting and they're like, you gotta be kidding me. There's some garlic for you. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to put a little bit of oregano in here uh, just because you can put whatever seasonings you want. And then I'm just going to hit it with a little pinch of salt. So now you got some salt water too. Give this baby a little stir like this. Get all those flavors mixed together. What do you think? Well, I think as you've got some good steaming seasoning going on there. But what I'm going to do is actually put this right in the water. And everybody's like, are well, you serious? Look at serious? it come up, that's cool. They're like, are you serious? You cannot put, here, I'm gonna go right in the trash with this, just so I got a place to put it. Uh, uh, uh. Get the excess off of there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then go right like that. Okay. This is just gonna cook for a while. You can put a press on it. Let me put a press on it just for a minute here. That's my press. And now, can you do yeah. this with like Italian bread, your hard crusted bread? That's what I normally breads. use. And okay. I'm actually say, I was saving this because we're going to be doing some bruschetta things. Right. And this is one of my secrets for making bruschetta without the oil. Is it bruschetta or bruschetta? Bruschetta. I don't bruschetta. know. Bruschetta. I've heard it pronounced yeah. so many different ways. Really? But I know what you're talking about. Huh. I have now, some good bruschetta. While this is going, mm -hmm. I think we're ready to pull your. Let's do. I Let's don't want to leave this on here too long. I'm just yes. going to let this kind of air dry. Good, good, good. Um, Here. But it presses it all together, you know, so it's all 
mm -hmm. sticking to the pan, mm -hmm. basically. And so... No, oh, no, get, get, get this dip out. You've got to try this dip. Get the dip out? What's uh, the dip? Is the, it like this? Uh, no, out of the oven. <laughs> Go. Okay. Woo, this thing is hot. Let me shut this off. Oh, man. Ah, this is hot. Oh, it's even toasted on the top. Look at Woo! this. Ooh, that's what it's supposed to look like, Mark. It's beautiful. <gasps> I, it it kind of sunk down just a little bit okay. from the it's evaporation, okay. probably. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's all good. I promise you, it is so all good. Yeah, because you know how you get evaporation in. Oh, hear look that? Look at steaming hot. Wait till you taste this. Folks, if you're having a dinner and you have some of those naysayers when it comes to vegan, <laughs> and you feed them some of this, they'll be saying, oh yeah, give me some more. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Alvin Mowry. Wow. He worked on this and worked on this. He did such an amazing job. We've had this in restaurants. Oh yeah. Ago. Oh yeah. yes, Your, absolutely. But it wasn't vegan. Uh uh. Mmm. <sighs> Whoa. <laughs> no, wait, wait. I gotta tell you something though. When we went off camera, mm -hmm. Melody said, I've got to get garlic in there. That's true. I can taste it. So I had to, um, and so I pulled that out and you stirred you it did. in. What did you do? You I, took, I took two tablespoons of the, the garlic and garlic, put in there. Minced garlic. Normally in the very beginning, I'll take two large cloves and mince it up and put it, the fresh mm -hmm. garlic in there. But this was in the jar in the mince yeah. because it was like last minute. I'm like, oh, I forgot the garlic. Yeah, and that makes a total it difference. It makes a huh? huge difference mm -hmm. in there. I mean, if somebody doesn't like garlic, it wouldn't. It's a wonderful, wonderful, great tasting recipe. And something else, the only salt that's in there is from the salt from the products that yeah, we use. no we did, salt. We did not add salt. Wow, at that's all. right. Added salt. That's what I want to say. Let me try these. Now, when you take these in the pan, and you're gonna get them out of the pan, you really have to scrape down. Now, I did use a Teflon coated pan. I do mm -hmm. have some scan pans that are mm -hmm. titanium mm -hmm. that work real good. Um, but you really gotta scrape underneath these or else you're gonna have parts sticking to the pan. So let me see if I can get this done right the first time here. Woo, ha ha. Give me a spot right in between those two. I'm gonna share, what do you, wait till you see this. <gasps> Mine. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> Is this blow you away or what? Mine. Done with water. And wow. it looks exactly like it was done with oil. Is that amazing or what? It looks like there's butter on it. Yeah, I just did this at a camp meeting and uh, uh, just one of those things that I uh, was doing it on a rush and, but you just can't have too much water, it's gonna get soggy, right? I see what you and, did. And you've gotta give it a little press to get the, the sticking to the pan basically. Mm -hmm. And then just don't let it stay there very long. Too long. Just enough to get it browned. Beautiful and charring. <laughs> is that something or what? Wow. There's yours. Oh, this man. Is mine. I got to wait a second on this one. That's hot, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, this is, we're doing this bruschetta thing. And better than this bread is the hard crusted. Yeah, the hard crusted mm -hmm. bread. That works the best with this. Uh, this was actually a yeast roll, so it's a lot softer, mm -hmm. but the hard crusted really gives it that effect. So if you want to go oil free, boom, there you oh, go. Just uh, the oregano, the garlic, and the little salt. That's all that you need. really. That's all you need. You wouldn't yeah. need anything else with that. Wow. Well, you don't need anything else with this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I could just eat that with a spoon. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. I think we need to say goodbye so we wow. can eat. Mm. That is fabulous. Money back guarantee. If you're not completely satisfied with <laughs> call, this artichoke, dip, call Mark. Call me, and I will give you a full refund. <laughs> that is how good it is. Mm. Wow. God is good. Yeah. Mark, God is good. Yeah, and that's our passion, really, is to help you get healthy. And 
you know, we tour the country. Uh, our information is always out there. It's on every single program. We don't do a lot of sales pitches saying send us your donations, uh, even though they're critically important. Uh, they are. Um, you know, our biggest passion is to help you get healthy. And so if you can share these videos with your friends and family and uh, show them where we're being aired all over the country, mm -hmm. you know, maybe you can help them and be that inspiration for them. And uh, because that is truly our passion. You know, Mark, you said something that I heard and I'm taking this with me. I told him, I said, I'm stealing this, but you are our donors. You oh, yeah. are the people who donate yeah. to this ministry to keep it going. Mm -hmm. Because foods are not the cheap. Food, the editing, the, the cameras. Everything, the, yeah. everything that yeah. is paid for yeah. from the donations that yeah. the people out there provide yeah, I mean, to we us. tried to get craft foods, but they wouldn't, I yeah, don't know why they wouldn't the be a sponsor. what's the deal with that? So, <laughs> so yeah, you're definitely our sponsors for doing these programs. But anyway, mm -hmm. thank you all for tuning in. Uh, I'm sure we've got more to come. So mm -hmm. stay tuned and we'll be right back.